Hello guys, welcome back. So as we already completed our first challenge of the Super Batch Advanced Flow for Agent Force, let's take up our second challenge now, which is configure customer verification for AI interaction. So once if you go to our home page, let's go to our object manager and in quick find search for contact and click on contact go to fields and relationship click on new if you scroll down you will find a date just click on that radio button and followed by next so here for field label let's go back and choose the last customer verification just copy this and paste it over here now click on next followed by next followed by save and now let's search for agent force and go to agent force agent you will find this option called ESSO just click on it followed by open in builder so here choose new add from asset library and make this customer verification followed by finish and now in quick find search for flow and click on flows you will get a verify code flow just click on it so once if you are here click on save as new flow and make sure to give this name and let's copy our description as well now click on save and if you scroll a bit down here you will find the set verify to true so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna click on plus next to this and click on decision let's go back to challenge for label so copy this label and give it over there and as well as description and for label give it as user and for resource type as customer choose customer type equals and for value give it as user we don't have to choose from the existing value just paste the user alone over here once done just close this and again click on is that customer user or contract if we see there is a default outcome let's change this label to contact so once done let's close this and next to set verify to true there will be three dots click on that and cut this element and we are gonna paste this over here next to contact so now next to set verify to true click on plus let's add update record uh, click on it and now give all this label description and for how to find record specific condition should be selected and for object it should be contact so if we come down search for contact id operator should be equal so for value we are gonna give customer id and for fields let's search for last customer verification so guys if we are not able to find this field let's do one thing let's go to our user and in your user if you scroll down you will see this permission set assignment just click on edit assignment and make sure like we have added this particular permission set which is agent for service agent extended object taxes and just click on save and also let's go to our permission click on permission sets and click on this agent for service agent permission and now let's go to our object setting and search for contacts control f contacts just click on this and make sure you have given all the permissions 
and if you go to the field this last customer verification make sure you have given the access and one more thing is let's go to our object manager and search for contact just click on it and go to fields and relationship and here search for last you will get the last customer verification just click on it and click on set field level security and make sure these to read and edit access is given already and if you come back and search we will get this last customer verification and still if you are not getting just make sure to refresh once and before that save it click on save and then refresh we will get this one and for this value let's give running flow interview followed by current date so once if it is done let's close this as well so guys let's do one thing now uh, let's go to our toggle toolbox which we will find at the top corner of our left now click on new resource for resource type give constant and for api name let's go back to our challenge so we need to give these things let's do that now now let me copy the api name which is not contact let's go back and give this and let's copy our description and then give it over here so for data type uh, let's go back let's give text and then for value let's uh, paste our value which we have copied and click on done and again click on new resource so uh, this time the resource type should be variable and then let's copy our api name which is message after verification if user and let's copy our description give this one as text and let's enable for input and output click on done and next to this user there is one plus click on add element and choose assignment so guys now provide this label api name description and for variable it should be message after verification of user equals not can contact now click on save you will get this warning go to the setting and click on show advanced if you scroll down remove this original flow and we don't have to give anything just click on done and now try clicking on save and now click on activate so guys now what we will do is let's go back and then quick find search for agent force uh, so here we will get agent for asset so once if we click let's go to our action and now click on new agent action choose flow over there and for reference action let's click on verify code and log verification and now click on next so here let's give some loading text let me load we can give anything and for instruction let's give the authentication key and now click on finish and now one more thing to make sure is go to permission set and click on ESS for permission and just make sure the permission is already enabled let's go to object setting and search for contacts click on it and if you scroll down this last customer verification will be there just click on edit and make sure this is given access and now click on save so that is all let's come back and click on check challenge hopefully this should pass our challenge too so here we hit an error so for this let's go back to object manager fields and relationship of contact object and let me give the description 
and click on save the description you will find if you search as last so we have to give this description and now let's come back and click on check challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge as well so the remaining two challenges will be available in the same playlist to check that see you all our next video until then bye bye